Assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel learn with fun by zarar sir we will be continuing where we have left we have started ac circuits and we have begin with ac circuit including capacitor and resistor and inductor so today continuing with that series i got many comment on my channel saying that please solve a problem which should include a resistor capacitor and inductor so i'll be targeting an ac circuit problem which include all the three passive component resistor inductor and capacitor so now let's begin with this so as you can see there are three thing over here one you have a resistance another you have a capacitance and an inductance okay i have a resistance i have capacitor sorry i have capacitor and i have inductor so we have in the last lecture we have already understand to write a capacitor or an inductor in a problem we usually denote it by xl and xc okay so first we will be calculating inductive reactance so to calculate inductive reactance of this uh, inductor the formula is 2 pi fl okay you can refer the previous video and for capacitor it is 1 upon 2 pi fc where f is frequency so i have frequency 50 hertz l is 10 milli henry so i'll write 2 pi 50 into 10 milli henry means 10 raised to minus 3 i'll substitute over here 5 to the 10 and this 3 will get cancel out so i'll get 3.14 ohm which is the value of pi generally so i got the value by solving this okay similarly it's a basic mathematics 2 pi f is 50 c is 500 microfarad okay so i'll write 500 into 10 raised to minus 6 and this value will be turn out to be 6.366 okay you can solve it later on i won't waste your time so i've already calculated for you this is my xl and this is my xc okay inductive reactance and capacitive reactance now we will be understanding something very interesting which will be my z1 i am trying to calculate impedance of this small network okay so i'll be trying to calculate impedance of this small network my z1 10 which is resistance plus c will be converted into complex form j and you won't write this 10 please be cautious while writing don't write this 10 milli henry we have already calculated this 10 milli henry as xl and the value of xl is 2 pi fl which is 3.14 so i'll write 3.14 similarly for my z2 i'll write the 10 which is over here so i'll be calculating this total resistance plus capacitance z i'm adding because they are in series similarly these are also in series so 10 plus but remember for capacitor you have to write minus many student makes mistake over here minus j time and the value we have already calculated for capacitance xc as 6.366 so i'll write 6.366 now the value which i have written of z1 and z2 is in rectangular form i'll be converting into polar form so to convert into polar form i will not be uh, calculating or wasting your time in calculation but i'll guide you how to do it because many student ask how to do it see to calculate this is rectangular form to convert into polar form just use this value as uh, a square plus b square so this will be 10 square plus 3.14 ka square and you will get the value of z which will be turning out to be 10.48 okay similarly to calculate angle the formula is theta tan inverse of b by a okay b by a means 3.14 divided by 10 uh, you will get the value of tan inverse which turns out to be 17 degree okay for this problem for z1 so you will be 17.43 degree you will get once you get this you will substitute over here okay so i have converted rectangular into polar form and how you will write polar form you will write it in this way 10 point okay i'll use some different colors because it is very light okay so uh, let's have some different color let's take red okay it is 10 point 48 angle 17.43 degree 
similarly if you use this above method to calculate z2 you will get the value in polar form as 11.48 sorry 85 11. Point, okay should use eraser it is 11. Point 85 and the angle is over here you'll get it's minus 32.48 degree this both are impedance so the unit will be ohm so now you can understand i've converted the capacitance and inductance in the form of reactance and i have combined it to calculate impedance so and basic the thing i what i have done is I've converted remember the step I've converted inductance into reactance and finally I've added this reactance with resistance and I'll name it as impedance okay Z1 similarly capacitive reactance XC plus resistance this will give me another impedance which is Z2 so I've calculated Z1 and Z2 and my task is to calculate I1 and I2 and we know the fundamental Ohm's law v equal to ir so my i1 will be v upon r1 right guys v upon r1 what is my v my v is this total voltage 230 volt right and 50 hertz but i don't have an angle so no don't worry about this just write the basic v upon z1 okay so i'll write v upon z1 what is my v total voltage 230 volt okay but i should write it into angular form since i don't have any angle i'll write zero degree so 230 angle zero divided by 10.48 up angle 17.43 now how to solve this this is very simple just divide the value with the value and angle it, while solving angle make sure you subtract it okay so I'll, I'll guide you how to do this 230 upon 10.48 once you solve this you will get 221 so you have to solve this by this you will get 21.48 sorry 21.95 i've just calculated it an angle make sure angle you don't divide it you have to subtract okay so uh, numerator minus denominator so 0 minus 17.5 17.43 will turn out to be minus 17.43 degree so this is your current and you know the unit of current is ampere similarly we'll calculate i2 so how to calculate i2 v upon z2 v is 230 angle 0 divided by z2 which is 11.85 angle minus 32.48 now you can say how to solve this just divide 230 with 11.85 the value is 19.41 okay and the angle this numerator minus denominator so minus minus will become plus so angle will be 32.48 ampere okay ampere is the current unit so we have solved i1 and i2 and this is the simplest way to calculate the current in any reactance either it be capacitive reactance or it be inductive reactance and combining it to make impedance so this i have made an effort so i hope you have uh, understand the basic how to solve i have told you where to where to convert rectangular into polar form We'll solve more problem in the upcoming video. Hope you have enjoyed this and understand this. Do subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you guys.